Hey guys, Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter, and over the years I have collected quite a lot of cases, backpacks, uh, pouches, and all kinds of things when it comes to packing up gear to go places and make videos. So I thought I'd go over my favorite stuff that has stuck with me over the years and I just can't live without, and maybe you'll pick up a thing or two when it comes to little things that just make life easier when it comes with packing and dealing with gear. So we're gonna start with the pouches, smaller things that go in bigger bags, and then we'll work up to giant cases. So let's get started with one of my favorites and that is Dom Key wraps. In short, this is a Velcro wrap that can wrap around just about about anything. On the outside, you have this kind of felt, and on the inside, there's a non-scratch nylon material, and then on all four corners, you have Velcro hooks. These are awesome if you want to wrap a camera and throw it in another bag. I also use them all the time for lenses, monitors, and things like that that don't have their own case but need protection. So it's a really nice padded material. They come in different sizes, and with everything, we'll have the links in the description if you want to check out prices, different colors, options, things like that. These are also great because they take almost no room. So you could pack a couple in your bag just in case you need them. And I love using these with non-camera bags. So we'll talk about a bag later that is not a camera bag, but I use it all the time with these Domkey wraps. Now let's get into the wonderful world of pouches. And I really like Porter Brace pouches. There's tons of brands out there. I'll have a link to uh, a couple more budget-friendly ones, but you can get packs of three or more of these different sizes and they're just great for all the little stuff, batteries, SD cards, you know, cleaning supplies for your cameras, all kinds of stuff. It's got a little zipper on the top, just awesome. You can throw these in cases and backpacks and things and then kind of compartmentalize all the little stuff in life. Another type of pouch that I love and is very economical are these little makeup travel pouches. So uh, you can get these in either a net or as you see here, kind of a clear plastic. And I love these because they're really affordable on Amazon and you can put things that you need to see. So here I have HDMI cables. Here's another one with some audio transmitters. And here's another one for batteries if you have to carry different types of batteries. So these are really affordable. You can see what's in them and they're great for throwing in cases, bags, stuff like that. Another type of pouch that I love are the Porter Brace lens pouches. I promise this video is not sponsored by Porter Brace. Their stuff just lasts forever and it's designed for broadcast level, out in the rain, hard working stuff. So really, really dig it. But again, there's affordable options compared to this. I'll put those down in the description. Uh, but these are great. They're designed for lenses, but you can use them for all kinds of stuff. And I'm showing the larger size here, but they also make smaller ones, which I have a ton of. You can use them for lenses. I've used them for audio transmitters and receivers, batteries, cables, they're amazing. They have a belt loop, which I never use, but on the bottom, they have Velcro. So they'll actually stick nicely in, you know, Velcro friendly bags and cases. So a great way to go. Very, very versatile. Uh, and I just love them. They also have a clear window on the top so you can actually see what's going on inside. Next up, we have SD card or media cases. There's lots on the market. I have the Pelican one for SD cards, which I really dig. And then there's also this SanDisk one, which is oddly enough, even higher quality, really, really nice material. So you gotta have your SD cards in something and uh, these are awesome. Another small case you gotta deal with if you're working on the go is for your filters. So I really like these two from Mindshift. I've had this one forever. Uh, it's their larger one. And then there's this nice little small one for like a backpack if you don't need a ton of filters on the go. So faders are great, but I really enjoy just straight up ND filters. So this one here has a nice, let's see, one, two, three, four slots for uh, different filters, which is great. Uh, really nice and compact. Throw that in the pouch of your backpack. And then this larger one is for bigger gigs. And what I love about it is there's kind of two layers here. So inside we have another little bag to kind of keep it really clean, dust free, uh, water free. And this will hold a ton of uh, different filters as well as larger ones like four by four, four by 5.6, all that kind of stuff if you're using a map box. So this is great because I'll have all my filters as well as lens cleaning supplies uh, and it can strap on the outside of a backpack or fits very nicely into something like a Pelican case. So great way to store uh, things like media you could put in here, but you know, they're really designed for filters. Next, we're gonna get to slightly larger bags, but I still use them within other bags. And by far my favorite bag case pouch of anything I own is this. This is the Media or Tech Pouch 
from Peak Design. And what I love about this thing is how compact it gets. So you can see, if I hold it here, it's you know kind of like a small bathroom bag style travel bag. But I use this in all of my backpacks. Anytime I'm taking a case somewhere, uh, they're just great. And they have so many different uses. And they also expand. So you can see I can open it up and uh, we have a ton of stuff that we can fit in here. These are awesome for small things like cables, adapters, splitters, uh, headphones, your phone, USB power, uh, little adapters and things. So I actually have a couple and have different jobs for each of them. So this one is kind of my travel uh, one. So I've got, you know, AirPods in here, um, various lightning USB-C adapters, a couple spare uh, USB-C cables, you know, power bricks, a couple batteries. You can fit so much in these things and they fit perfectly in a Pelican case or in the top of your backpack. So really like them. Uh, their quality on this is absurdly good. They are somewhat expensive though. I believe they're over 50 bucks for these. I did find what looks like to be a perfect carbon copy on Amazon, but it is more affordable. I haven't tried it myself, but if you're looking for something cheaper, that's a good way to go. So I love this thing. Definitely worth checking out. Similar, but slightly larger is actually a bag from Small Rig. So we know them from rigging cages, but they also make bags apparently. So this one, as you can see, is a little larger, but same kind of idea. I'll unzip it here. It's really high quality. Got this nice leather, you know, handle on the side. And as you can see, I can open it up. This is great for monitors, um, all kinds of little knickknacks. You could turn this into an audio bag or something like that. Uh, they have little pouches where you can route cables to other batteries and things. So awesome cases. This one's more affordable than the Peak Design. I want to say around 35 bucks. Um, so I'll have that in the description as well. But I love these kind of medium sized little pouches and cases that hold a ton of stuff that you can put in your larger bags. Now we're going to start moving up in size. And this is my Orca audio bag. It is specifically designed for audio equipment. If you want to see what this looks like rigged up, you can check out a video that I did where I built a custom fully wireless audio kit. Uh, these are awesome if you do a lot of audio work and you just kind of want everything audio related in a single bag, ready to go. You can see all your stuff looking down while you're wearing it. Love this bag. Our next bag or case is another Porter Brace. And this is the cargo case from Porter Brace. I adore this. This is easily in the top five for me when it comes to bags. It's very lightweight, as you can see. Got nice handles. It also comes with a shoulder strap. It's got pockets and zippers and stuff all around the outside. And then there is a zipper Velcro combo for the lid here. Let me pull it apart. And as you can see on the inside, we have all kinds of room for different stuff. Now, I love this bag for using it as a camera bag. So I'll usually have a fully built, ready to rock camera. You know, this is perfect for cameras like the C200 or a rigged up, you know, mirrorless camera. Uh, you can fit a couple in here. So I use this forever. When I was a documentary filmmaker running around with all these different rigs and cameras, uh, this is awesome. It's also really strong. It's actually a soft case, but it's designed so that you can actually kind of kneel on it. It's really strong when it comes to the walls. Amazing case, uh, Velcro friendly. So I have more of these Porter Brace little lens cups inside of there and stuff. So not the biggest case. It's not going to hold a billion things, but I love it for camera setups. Um, and you could also use it for lenses, all kinds of other things. Similar to our last Porter Brace bag, this is the Arco Doctor bag. And they come in different sizes. I believe this is the 30 or 40. So here it is closed and you can open it up and you've got a lot of room in here. Zippers and spots to stuff stuff all over it. Really digging this bag. It's kind of new to me, but I'm fully enjoying how much you can cram in these things and how easy they are to use on set. Cause you just open it up and boom, there's all your stuff. No like lids to deal with and things like that. Got nice carrying handles on the sides. They're awesome. They come in several different sizes. All that stuff will be down below. Next up on our bag and case discovery journey, we have one of my favorites, the Pelican 1510. This is by far, I think the oldest carrying bag case, whatever uh, that I've owned. I've had this thing forever and it has been through a lot. And of course it's a Pelican case, so it's kind of indestructible. They're heavier than other hard cases out there, but at the end of the day, you're really not going to beat them. This is one of my favorites because of the size. It is carry on ready, which is awesome. Uh, and it just seems to be just about perfect for almost every use. So you can almost fit everything you need for a production in one of these or get a couple if you're traveling with people to a production, uh, carry these on 
and uh, they're bulletproof. They're just the best thing ever. I love the layout on the inside. You can also get a lid organizer, which I don't have set up right now in this one. And if you're at the airport, it has a convenient uh, handle for rolling around. It's got wheels, just a great case and a good all arounder to have if you don't have any Pelican cases. Now let's get into backpacks. We're gonna start with a pretty affordable option that I think is great if you're looking for a backpack for cameras and don't wanna break the bank. I don't even know the name, it's Tubu. It's just some generic, it's sold under multiple names, but it's just a good all around backpack. It has all the stuff you need, like a way to carry a tripod, lots of compartments on the inside for holding cameras and whatnot. It's not the easiest to access uh, from the shoulder, but it's got everything you need. You can put a laptop in it. And uh, I rocked this bad boy for several years uh, and it really did a great job. I just kind of got bored of it and wanted something a little, you know, ooh, nicer. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, still use this from time to time, but it got replaced with our next backpack, which is the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. Comes in two different sizes. And this thing is just the best. It is very different from a lot of backpacks out there in the way that it works on the inside and how you can kind of organize things. If you really like a ton of different spots to plug lenses and cameras in, it's maybe not gonna be the best option for you, but it is absurd how much you can fit in this and the expandability literally is amazing. So the best feature in my opinion is the latching system. It works so well, you just gotta try it and trust me, it's amazing. But uh, you'll see we have several different modes here. You can expand it to something huge like that or if you're not carrying a lot of gear, you just button it down like that. Access on the sides, little hidden magnetic compartments on the inside. It's just the best. I use this every single day and it's always with me. So I can carry my MacBook Pro 16 inch, uh, some cameras, lenses, and then other stuff like my overnight oatmeal is right over here, my coffee, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. So it's a great bag. It feels so great and the quality is just amazing. This next bag is one that I've had since high school, I think, uh, and I call it my Jack bag. I believe it's around 20 bucks on Amazon. They still sell it. And it is almost an exact replica of the bag that Jack Bauer uses in the show 24. So what do I love about it? Well, first of all, it's a sling bag or a messenger bag, and I love those style of bags. They're not great for your back, but for lightweight stuff, they're great. Uh, it's simple, it's rugged, it's held up great over time. And there's not a ton of compartments. You've got the main one here with a little zipper bag, two front and then two on either end for something like a bottle of water or something. But why I love this is for really lightweight stuff, like if I'm going to NAB and I just want a camera, a lens and run around for a day, uh, this is perfect. And I actually use it with Dom key wraps, which we already talked about, as well as those lens cups from Porter Brace. So you can kind of put little different pouches and things in it to customize it for camera use. Uh, and it's just lightweight, small. You can fold it up real tight and stick it in your luggage. Uh, it's just a great bag. And I've had this forever, so long, and it's doing great. It's holding up well. Two more cases that I can't fit on the desk. And these are my big boy rollers for hauling lots of lights, light stands, tripods, things like that. One you can't buy anymore, but I'll have alternatives online. It's just a huge roller uh, with a zipper. The other is the Aperture 120D kit case or roller. And that thing's awesome for just chucking a bunch of lights and equipment in a big case and hauling it all around. I used to use a big duffel bag when I would check all of my light stands for flying. Uh, that works well. And with that, we have made it through all the bags, cases, pouches, backpacks that I use to pack video gear. Let me know what you use when it comes to packing gear. I can always use more recommendations for that kind of stuff. So that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.